Welcome to general readings for, oh my gosh, we're in June already. Your money readings are going to look like this and your love readings are gonna look like this. And so you can be looking forward to those to come out throughout the month. So let's get started. Aries. Okay, so it's time to get your head out of your butt and start thinking a little bit more clearly, start um, communicating what it is that you need pretty immediately. It says it's dark and you can't see a, a fucking thing when your head's in your ass. Um, so here's what they're saying. They're saying, look, happy endings are coming. You need to pull your head out so that you can open up your third eye because it's definitely closed. It doesn't wanna get dirty when it's up in there, right? Because this is how you get to your happiness. But you do need to follow your intuition in order to get to that happy ending, to have all the things that you want, to feel confident. So beginning of the month, they're saying, um, you know, this is not when it's going to come for you. Everybody else seems to have an opportunity at the beginning of June, but for you, it's, it's not right away, okay? And so that's why it's important to really start thinking clearly, to start getting organized and things like that. When we get to the middle of the month, now it's like, okay, let's focus on the love we have to give that we're giving to others and what, so that we're open to receive it in return. Um, and this is not necessarily a time to start new projects um, or to start you know, sharing our thoughts, but kind of figuring out what is fair. Am I getting back what I'm putting into things? Because you should very much expect that what you put into something, you're gonna get back from. And then, you know, if you don't put love or energy or time into something, you're not gonna get much out of it. And so they're saying, you know, this is your time to decide if you're going to be strong or if you're going to be weak. Because the outcome that comes is a direct correlation to the amount of effort and time that you put into something, okay? Now, the end of the month for you, it looks like things can be secure, everything's on track, your long term plan, your long term goal, like everything thing is solid so long as you listen to the advice in the beginning so best part of the month is that you know there's not like a lot of details to hammer out you might think that at the beginning of the month um, that things are overwhelming but if you take things one breath at a time one second at a time one minute at a time one thing at a time um, that would be the best thing for you but it's gonna be hard for you um, and so that's what they're saying is like this opportunity is only going to come for you if you can be in that right mindset. Now, the biggest uh, challenges are going to be to really fully believe in yourself because luck is on your side, but you have to co-create this reality that you want. If you need assistance with any of these energies, your crystals of the month um, look like this. You can find those in my blog page on the link below, and I love you so much.